Welcome to PC Wiz Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you how to unlock hidden Windows XP options using the Group Policy Editor. Now I have here, for example, Internet Explorer open, right? Uh, here's a quick tweak that I did using this editor. You can see that the icon here is replaced with mine and my uh, name here, PC Wiz Kids Tech Talk, was added to the title bar. So those are uh, an example here of what you can edit. There's much more, of course, but let's quickly um, edit that and uh, and then show you a little bit more. Now, of course, I had to create a little uh, bitmap, a 256 color bitmap, and um, make sure that the dimensions were appropriate to uh, replace in the IE uh, GUI there. So once I created that and saved it, now I was able to reference that bitmap in the group policy editor. So let's open that editor. Click on start, run, and then type gpedit.msc. Okay, so that's the group policy editor. Once you type that in and press OK, it'll launch the uh, group policy editor. And you can see here under user configuration, we've got software settings, window settings, and administrative templates. Now under window settings, is specifically the Internet Explorer maintenance option which allows you to change that GUI part the graphic interface portion so click on that and then on the right hand side you'll see browser title when you double click on that you'll be able to customize the title that appears at the top after the Microsoft uh, name now also the custom logo you can change of course but remember you have to have the appropriate width and height that square bitmap 256 color after you created that then you can just reference it in here and then you're all set now you'll re be able to replace it in Internet Explorer now there's much more than just that of course if you go under administrative templates there's desktop customizations and all kinds of other components if you want to remove or hide things from the desktop so that other people can't see it or access it you can go in here easily and enable or disable these options so you don't need to tweak in the registry anymore or know how to um, how to do a lot of these tweaks you can just go in here double click on one of these options and then a pop-up will appear that asks you to enable or disable it and then you can just apply and okay that so go through it slowly there's too many to mention right so just be careful just go through them slowly and you'll see I'm sure many neat things that you you can probably uh, make use of that you didn't know existed or you had the uh, option to um, to uh, to modify so now that you know group policy editor has options to modify not just Internet Explorer but your desktop uh, the um, Windows Explorer options just go ahead in it apply it and uh, and enjoy thank you for watching